Justice Democrat Ro Khanna sat down with economist Robert Reich. 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 <laughs> Uh, I, I always fuck it up in one way or another, but whatever. Uh, and Ro Khanna made an interesting point about the failure of Democratic messaging. So there are two views in the Democratic Party, right? There is the view, I sat through a meeting and they said, well, we got to say that Trump's plan is not revenue neutral. I said, there's no one in my district who talks about it like that. They don't talk about revenue neutrality. And so right now the argument goes, Trump says, we're going to grow the economy 4%. And we get up there and we say, no, it's going to be 2.3%. And then he says, well, you don't believe in the greatness of the American people. I think we've got to reverse the script. We've got to say, you know, your bet is for the shareholders and the CEOs and concentrated wealth. Our bet is what grows America's economy or the factory workers and the nurses and the teachers. We believe in their greatness. If we give them more money uh, because they haven't had a wage raise since 1980, we're actually going to get the best shot of 3 or 4% growth. And that's actually the best way of tackling uh, the long-term uh, deficits. So whether you call this bottom-up economics or we need a counter to the supply-side mantra. But what Trump has shown is we've got, we could pay for Medicare for all. We could pay for debt-free college. We could give every American a 20% raise. We could have a child care tax credit. And we still couldn't get a number as big as his tax cuts uh, for corporate CEOs. So when you say this to the Democratic caucus, right? <laughs> what's the response? Well, they you know they say uh, you know they say they say okay you're quoting Robert Reich you're quoting Paul Craig but uh, right but um, their view is that, that, well no we got to we have to just talk about uh, uh, the, the the deficits and the moderate voter uh, will realize that Trump's plan is really bad on deficits and they'll realize that that's a bad plan and we don't really need to put forward some some people say our own plan because then people will poke holes at your own plan so let's just talk about how bad te Trump's plan is that he's taking away state and local deductions he's taking away uh, graduate uh, expenses and he's gonna blow a hole in the deficit the problem with that is there's no vision that was very telling in other words, you have Justice Democrat Ro Khanna in meetings with other Democratic Congress people. And he's telling leadership, listen, I know what you guys think is the proper messaging, but I'm here to tell you that's not the proper messaging. And just for the record, that's exactly what Hillary Clinton ran her campaign on. I'm not him. That guy's an asshole. So he's bad. And then let me give you platitudes and cliches but just remember, he's really bad and that I believe America is already great and we're going to break down the barriers and we're going to be stronger together. You know, look at a guy like Tom Perez. We'll lead with our values. We, gotta, we have values and values are good. And then we're going to lead with those good values. Don't you love us? No, because you don't stand for anything. You're saying, yeah, we're, we're not him. So that's good enough, right? No, tell me what you're for. And Roe is saying he's in these meetings. And then other Congress people, <laughs> why would we give our own plan? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> Let's just talk about how bad his is. That's exactly what lost you guys, all the seats you lost. And that's exactly what lost Hillary Clinton the election. And you're trying to repeat it. And even their reasoning is the exact wrong reasoning. We got to, <laughs> bro, we got to worry about the moderate voters. <laughs> Moderates. <laughs> we love moderates and centrists. What did Chuck Schumer, what the, what, exactly the thing that Chuck Schumer said that he got wrong. He said, listen, what we got to do as Democrats is we got to reach out to that moderate voter. And for every blue collar worker who we lose, a rural uh, blue collar worker, working class person, we pick up two suburban um, voters, middle class, upper middle class suburban voters. So th this, ex a thousand Democratic seats were lost using this strategy. Hillary Clinton lost the election using this strategy. They're presented with one of the worst tax bills in history that the Republicans propose. I mean, it's a joke. The thing is a fucking joke. Their only response is, well, deficits. Now, listen, I'm not against making the deficit point because it shows their hypocrisy and how they don't believe what they claim to believe. So, of course, I'm in favor of making the deficit point. But that you're, that's only half the picture. It's only half the picture to say we're going to malign what's bad about this bill. So you say, oh, it raises taxes on people making $75,000 a year or less, and it increases the deficit, and it cuts taxes for the rich and corporations. Okay, that's half the picture. 
But what's the other half of the picture? What's your plan? What's your plan? And Roe just said, hey, listen, we could expand the earned income tax credit, give everybody in the middle class 20% raise. We could do Medicare for all. We could do free college. And even with doing all those things, it wouldn't be as expensive as what the Republicans are proposing in order to cut taxes of corporations and the rich. He brings this up to their face and they go, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, come on, you pie in the sky. Stupid. You have a Bernie bro over here. He wants to, like, give people health care. <laughs> he wants, like, to let people go to college and not go broke. <laughs> he wants, like, the middle class to get a tax cut as opposed to the rich. <laughs> Let's just say Trump, bad. Russia, bad. Deficits, bad. Wow, brilliant, brilliant. And somehow your approval rating is down there close to what the Republicans' approval rating are as they run on a platform of, I can't wait to fuck over your grandma. The I can't wait to fuck over your grandma party is polling about the same as the we don't agree with them party. Perhaps it's because you're not offering a counter vision. You're not saying anything positive. You're not saying, hey, Medicare for all is the answer, and let me explain exactly why. You're not saying free college is the answer, let me explain exactly why. By the way, the polls are already with you, and you won't argue for it. The Republicans take a position that's not even 50% favored, and then they still argue for it. They make a case. You have 70% of people with you on various, provi uh, on various proposals, you don't even argue for it. But maybe it's because they don't really believe in it. Now, we know Justice Democrat Ro Khanna believes in it, as a matter of fact, he proposes all this legislation, he signs on all this legislation, co-sponsors it. But there are many Democrats who don't believe it. So, it's hard to get the Democrats all on the page of Medicare for All when they don't all believe in Medicare for All. It's hard to get them all on free college when they don't believe in free college. It's hard to get them all on cut taxes for the middle class, not the rich, when some of them want to cut taxes for the rich because they also have corporate donors. Ro Khanna doesn't, so he's fighting for the people. So, he's showing them the way. And they're not, I mean, if you're them, and you have a functioning brain, and you're not corrupt, what you do is, oh, immediately implement Ro Khanna's idea on messaging. But no. He, he has to fight a battle to win obvious things. I mean, this is obvious, this argument. Obvious! But he has to fight a battle for it, and they still are dismissing it. And then they turn around and I can't believe we lost! Why, what do we, why, but we told you Trump is bad! And we told you deficits! What? Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, you should. Because he's showing you the way. Just like Bernie showing, uh, you know, the Democrats in the Senate the way. He's showing you the way. 100%. He's the most popular politician in the country. Maybe you should copy what he believes in. But they have to actually believe in it, and they don't. They have to be not corrupt. They are. Um, so that's why they're fighting an uphill battle. But this is why we need more Justice Democrats elected, so they can all agree on this, on this point. JusticeDemocrats.com slash fight. We need you in order to win. We have over 30 candidates, so we have to raise a lot of fucking money, guys. And we don't take corporate PAC money, so we're lagging behind the establishment candidates. So that's why we need you. JusticeDemocrats.com slash fight. Make a donation, because we need these people to win so that we get a government that actually represents us.